Faye Ripley, all three live from five. First on four, done deal. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, and just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. And a warm welcome to Deal or No Deal. Oh, we had a great game yesterday. I really enjoyed Vera's game. And I was so pleased she went away with £10,000. And Vera happened to mention, uh, when she was thinking about dealing at £10,000, that we've had recently, a recent history, of the big money appearing right after the deal. And so the banker gave her the opportunity, if she wanted, to no-deal it and go on and get an offer after the very next box. And it just shows you guys, he listens to every single thing you say when you come here. Remember that. Watch your mouth. It might work against you. Here come the names. scrutinizes your actions and he analyzes everything you say remember that Steve <laughs> Steve this is your big opportunity please join me Thanks, Nob. There he is! <laughs> right, mullet on the menu. Yeah. Steve Walker from Redditch in Worcestershire. Tree surgeon and landscaper. And the nickname is The Mullet. The Mullet. Well, it was. I was, I was working on one day. Been a bit of slabbing and stuff like. Slabbing? Slabbing. <laughs> slabbing, putting some slabs down. <laughs> slabbing. But it says here you're a tree surgeon. Well, what it was, I got up the tree, I fell out the tree, I thought I'd do some slabbing while I'm down, it looks good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody's going to notice, I fell, I'll just slab the... No, seriously, I'll burn my ears slabbing, so... And the air, actually, because it was very, very short, it was tickling my ears and making them sore. My neck was burnt, so I thought I'd grow my air. Sue, what do you make of all this? I mean, <laughs> really, he does need to be brought into the 21st century, doesn't he? Well, I know, but Noel, he just won't be brought into the 21st century. Uh, how did you two meet? How did we meet? We used to uh, work together in a bakery. In a bakery? In a bakery. Oh, I was a baker. Yeah. And at which point were you aware that he was interested in you? <laughs> when he wouldn't go away. <laughs> You know, I loved her when I come here. <laughs> and how did he propose? He just said, shall we do it? And I said, <laughs> no, OK, yeah. then. I hope you mean marriage. <laughs> you romantic oh, man. I know. Oh, I know. I was, I was on both knees. Pleading. Yeah, and don't kick me again. <laughs> <laughs> Two photos. Yes. They're my babies. Yeah. I've got, I've got Stacey, Stackers, that's me little one. She's the youngest one. Then I've got uh, Specky Becky on the end there. And I've got Leaky Lou in the middle. Oh, I bet they're thrilled to have <laughs> they're those They're going to kill me when I get yeah, those. Absolutely. <laughs> leaky Lou? Yeah, Leaky. Doesn't sound too attractive. And, and that's me mum. That's me, like. This is me mum. <laughs> So people get us mixed up because they say I look really much like... You look like Benny out of Abba. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When I was playing football, it's true. They called me Abba. I was playing football. I was running down and somebody was going, Abba, send the ball, Abba, send the ball. And I'm like, well, I've got the ball. And he went, yeah, Abba, send the ball. Oh, OK. So I got called Abba. Yeah. Do you like your football? I love football. Yeah? Yeah. I was playing league football up until I was 46. Really? And I, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm getting older now, now, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah. Oh, 48, dear me. It's oh. nearly over, isn't it? <laughs> well, let's, let's try and get you some money before you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve, uh, I need you, please, to confirm that you chose box number 17 at random before the game began. I did now. Yeah. It's sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all the boxes and is the only person yes, who knows no. where the money is. Uh, would you write a financial target in here? Uh, yeah, I can yeah? do. Yeah. Good, good. Thanks, Tom. Lovely. So, I can't think of a reason why we wouldn't throw you into combat with the banker now. Come on, yeah, combat. Have I you? like combat. Combat, do you? Combat, oh, yeah. yeah. Combat. Ooh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah! OK, come yeah. on, Steve. Come on, away he goes. Come on, come on. Back on his arm, banker. I've always wanted to walk up there like that. I've watched you do so many times, I thought I'm going to try that. So it's great, go on, do it again. Say it again. Go on. I'll give you some attitude. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, hey! Oh, that's very Travolta, that is. Is, is that pretty good? Yeah. Rock and roll. Yo. Right, let's, let's have a look then. I think we'll have uh, number one. Right, now, could this be three in a row? Three in a row. The quarter million's been in the first box yesterday well, did, I've, and, and at the weekend. Yeah, I've got, I've got a plan. I'm, yes. I'm actually, right now, I'm looking for the, the big five. The big five? Yeah, I'm, I, five. Want, yeah I want to find them. Yeah. yeah. Why? Everybody tries to find a penny, they can't find it, so I'm trying to find the big five. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's your... reverse psychology. Right. Uh, Sean, it would be astonishing if this was the big E. Three games in a row. Where you go, Sean. I'm certainly going to miss you, Steve. Karaoke is not going to be the same. Rock and roll, boy. Clean fight. Okay. And remember. No, no, no. No, 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 no tempering. No, no knees. No, no. No tongues. Just straightforward affection. One pee kiss. Go. Oh, Let's have a look then. Number. Cast me the F5, please, babe. Good luck, Steve. Thank you for making me feel so welcome. We love you, babe. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Well, you said you were looking for the big numbers. Well, you found one. You found 50,000. Ah, that's a good number. Number six, I think. Mel. Good luck. <laughs> I think number seven, uh, the lovely um, Carol. From the minute I met you, I knew you were completely barking. <laughs> Good luck. Be nice. <laughs> We'll go for uh, Tezza. Right then, Abs Blue, mate. Rock on, Steve. Yeah! yeah. I think you can agree with Carol. There he is, barking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he 
says you want he wants you out of here early he can't stand all this screaming and shouting and you posturing around the place your box is now worth nine thousand nine hundred pounds <laughs> I ain't finished shouting yet, so I'm ready for the question. Please, no. <laughs> £9,900, deal or no deal? No deal, mate. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's that all about? Addicted to football. Football. It's a football. <laughs> football. <laughs> Oi! Oi! Addicted to deal or no deal? Yay, 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 yay. Yes! Oh, now what are you doing? I'm trying to walk again. I, I said before I'd finish, I'm going to practice and perfect the. Number three. Lick him, please. <laughs> Why did I just do it? It was random, wasn't it? Something pinging off. <laughs> Thanks, babe. The lady over here absolutely adores your walk. What's your name, darling? Rosie. Rosie? Oh, oh, your name, sir? Yeah, it's my daughter. Yeah, what's your name? Joycey. Joycey and Rosie. <laughs> and Stevie. <laughs> yeah. Rock and roll. He's a kid. <laughs> Thank you. What? <laughs> All right, I'm topped up now. Number 11, please, Rich. Go on, go on, Rich. <laughs> Good luck, mate. I really hope it's a blue. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh. Grand. It's all right, Rich. Oh, my God. That's a good son. Stop, mate. We are going to take a break. And uh, normally we uh, try and encourage you to come back. But I do know, <laughs> I do know you will be back because... We have had occupants of the crazy chair come with a, a diverse range of uh, tactics to try and get the money out of the banker early on in the game. This is the first time in the history of deal that someone has come out here and performed in such a nauseatingly irri <laughs> irritating way that the banker is certain to give him a big offer to get rid of him. And I tell you what, I tell you what, We'll probably all top it up ourselves as well. Yes! Do come so back! back. Don't say to kiss more people in the audience. <laughs> Dave! Dave! The newbie. Another blue. Come on, newbie. Oh! oh. That's all right. Oh, I didn't want to split that. him up anyway, Come Dave. Right, honestly. Keep going. I'm going to get you after this show. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> yeah. He is putting it about a bit, obviously. Yeah, Sean got the kiss first. Now what are you doing? <laughs> looking for the banker. You're looking for the banker. He's not even <laughs> <Yeah>. the table. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He says... If you are trying to get big offers by being the most irritating player we've ever had, it's working. £15,000. <laughs> get out of here with 15 grand, the bank can do. It's a big 
ni gaffan eller nästan god affär. Have you got a shopping list? Are there things that you want to achieve with a with a money win, big money win? Well, I don't. I, right now, I can't achieve anything because um, I've got I've got my kids and I'm old enough to do what I want to do. They're there first. They will be settled and ready to fly the nest before I even think about what we're, well, we've spoken about it before we decide what we're going to say. What ages are we talking about? 18, 16, or 15? Yeah. That's it. We, 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 that's, like that's proper parenting. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's called proper love. Now, parenting is, is something you do. Love is something you give. And, and that's what we give to our kids. Lots and lots of it. Everything. She's my life. My baby's on my life. That's it. There's, there's nothing else that's going to really, you know, keep saying. That's it. So. Achievement-wise, I had a, a bloke say to me once, like, he said, wouldn't it be nice to win the lottery today? And I said... Yeah, he said, would you be happy? I said, no, I'll be richer. Couldn't be no happier, just a bit richer. Okay, man. Very good. You may recall at the beginning of this game, I did actually mention that um, when you say things, mm. the banker listens. Um, he hasn't seen that side of you. And you've taken him rather by surprise. Your offer is now seventeen and a half thousand pounds because of what you said. Well, thank you very much. I've got, I've got a lot of respect, and that's a good offer. However, I'm ready for the question. See. Seventeen and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> Declan, I don't care if you're a wrecker, mate. Give me number twelve from whatever it is. I'm happy. You're an amigo. We really want this to be blown. Demolition, Declan. Yeah. Danielle, please. Good luck. Thank you, darling. This is uh, yeah. turning out to be a rather interesting game here. Huge money and good strong back up the other side. This is another blue. You're fit. Thanks, so. <laughs> Well, in gameplay terms. Oh, that's okay. okay. <laughs> I've not been caught fit before. <laughs> no. Right, number eight. I'll go for Auntie Rose. Auntie Rose? Yeah, she knows my roses. They are roses, they are. Daffodil, Miss Daffodil. 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 Like. Auntie Rose. She's mad. Yeah. Good luck, Steve. Poor bluck. Thank you, darling. <laughs> I meant, I meant the game was fit, not he's fit. <laughs> you wish you knew what was in the book. Well, you're not going to find out till the end. So, what's the with you? <clears throat> Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, it is. Definitely on the bar. Yes. Thanks, thank you. Thank you very much. So he was asking whether your target was on the board. Oh, you cheeky one. Yeah, he did say this. He says it's bad news for him because, quite clearly, he, he doesn't think you've written 15,000 or less as your target. <laughs> so it means if the target is still in the game, it's got to be one of those big three. He's now offering you, with a please, take 21,000. <laughs> Great, 
Great offer, Noel. Great, great offer. Appreciate it. Thank you, banker. Ready for the question, please, mate. Twenty-one thousand pounds. Deal? Or no deal? No deal. <laughs> I'm going to go for Rog, number 13. All right, good luck. Thanks, Rog. It's been lovely to know you. That's that. That's all right. That is your right, son. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's like that. all right. Ooh. 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 Liam, number nine. You can be a huge loss to the group's team. always do the horses and we found that when we've been sort of in need I heard something on the, on the TV the other day <laughs> Listen, I heard I heard something on the TV the other day is that finished now that first no one, no no I'm coming back to that oh you're coming back to it right well he, he used to take he used to take I'll tell you what you lot go away make a cup of tea and we'll get to the end of the story and if the bit in the middle is interesting we'll tell you about it when you come can back I, can I say what, yeah, go you on. come back yeah go because I'm mad <laughs> Exactly. He's a character. I've got to go to the box tonight. Another box? Yes. 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 And if it's one of those blues, you have got the most amazing eight box. Shell. 21. Shell, if this is blue, the roof's going off. Good luck. What's it going to be? There's an eight box to savour. Contrast that with yesterday, where Vera just had the hundred thousand and seven blues. Ooh, hello. Okay, despite all the bluster and all the fun. Yes. Quote, it means a lot to me that Steve knows I'm taking him seriously. No, I'm taking the banker seriously, mate. You see, the thing is, it's, it's like, if I'm taking something, I'm going to give something back. And if, if being mad's giving something back, and I can take that quarter of a million away, that's fine by me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you. Right then. Yes. I knew this was going to happen. Yes. The moment you talked about your responsibilities as a father, mm. um... We all could then appreciate how much these three girls mean to you. Um, what do you call Lisa? Leaky Lou. Leaky Lou. Yep. Ten thousand pounds for Leaky Lou. Yes. From the bank. Mm. Becky. Yes. Spexy Bex. Spexy Bex. Yep. Ten thousand pounds for Spexy Bex. Yes. And Stacy. Stackers. Stackers. A total of thirty thousand pounds. <coughs> wow. I don't think we've been up at heights like this for a very long time, Steve. Mm. Not giving me nothing. Is, is, you know what I mean? <laughs> Doesn't he like me? Is, do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's, that, no, you that... could do it another way, couldn't you? Say 9,000 for each hole. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So it's now £10,000 for each of your uh, daughters and uh, £3.90 for a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, right. Oh. Steve, you've got to think that if you do take out the three big ones, what you're going to be left with. But it is still a great board. Dave, that's the best board I've seen in a long time, mate. Yeah. And I don't think you can do it. What do you think? It's uh, a Venom. Yeah, of course. Come here. Come on, Sue. Come on. You keep your feet on the ground. You no, always do. You always do. So. You know what to do. Don't no, you? I don't. Yes, you do. You do. What do you want me to do? It's not what I want to do. It's your game. Honestly, it's your game. It's brilliant. It's your game. You, you always do the best thing, so. Oh. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Stay focused. Yeah. yeah. You are right on the edge of potentially changing your family's lives forever. He works hard, I imagine, Sue. Yeah, he works very hard. In all weathers. Hard. Yeah. Grafting away. Yeah, long hours. He, des he deserves uh, a really good break. Clearly the... The focus of all his hard labour is you yes. and your four, or your three daughters. Yeah. So the four of you mean a lot to him. That's really the question, man. Steve, £30,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. Absolutely crucial. Pat, number ten. Pat, three boxes that can change their lives forever. That's all right, sweetheart. That's not what I'm after. <laughs> to your target then you weren't here for a hundred thousand second box well I weren't going to do this but I'm going to do it 16 why were you not going to do it it's your birthday and if it blows again two blues now and you are rocking and rolling Steve do it for me, Chris. You're a great bloke. You brightened me day. When I saw you, you brightened me day. Now worth 
£40,000. My biggest fear at the minute is... is I, I really, really, really think I know, seriously, where that 250 is. How? What are you feeling? Just... Intuition. <laughs> Set the table on me now. Just intuition, yeah? Yeah. It, it's Do you think just, you know where it is? I think it's in our wedding anniversary and I just... So you I'm, got... I'm, ma- torn, I'm torn between them, right? 40 grand, yeah? And, and, and she's turned my life around from when I met her, right? Totally, I mean, I mean, when I say turn my life round, she, she, I am today. We're 20 years this year on the terms. Yeah, yeah. mm, and what do you think now? Have a look at it, because it's a lot of money, Shredder. I know it is, I know. I, I totally agree. I... Can I still have the £3.90 for the haircut? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Tell you what, because this is so serious. Let's remove the haircut out of it. I have to keep you very focused on the fact £40,000 is a massive sum of money. It is not. It's a huge sum of money. Uh, That's the most calming thing I've I've said to me up to now. The other thing I have to say to you, you will never, ever have the opportunity to win a quarter of a million pounds here in the Dream Factory again. Yeah. And I just wonder how big a regret... Would oh, carry. Wouldn't. No? No regrets. Well, then you must want the question. Yeah, give me the question now. Steve. Mm. £40,000. Deal or no deal? Deal. No, oh, thank you. has to be Sue's moment. She just said to me, I was a bit worried there. <laughs> Did you think he was going? Yeah. He was going for it? I really thought, no, he's going to go. All right. You might have brought the uh, quarter mill to the table. You, for whatever reason, you're convinced it's there in 22, your wedding I won't touch that, because I'm going to play honestly. So these are the three boxes. Which order would you have taken them? Right. Becky's birthday, number two. Uh, Karen, will you please open box number two? Well done, Steve. No, that was exactly what we were looking for. You had said no deal. Uh, next one is f- 14. 14? Lamb it. Steve, I hope this is 250,000 for you. Life. What it'll be, it'll be, mate. No. Still on touch 22, because I wouldn't have said You have one shot. Is a quarter of a million in 22? No, Scarlett, it's in 18. You've oh, got man. it. Scarlett's got it. Got Scarlett it. Fever again. The girl yeah, yeah, who had a quarter of a million. It. Do it again, Scarlett. Put it away. You've got it. Hello. You know, it's happened again, hasn't it? You had, one, you had one day without your bumpty being spanked, and then along comes Steve, and it's another official banker spanking. <laughs> it would have been £4,000, the offer, at this point. How sweet is this going to be? So could I ask you just to swap over with Steve? Let him sit in the crazy chair for the moment where you find out exactly what you carried to the table. You brought £10,000. And in your wedding anniversary box... Unfortunately, slightly less than the quarter of a million you predicted. <laughs> Love every second of it. What are you going to do with £40,000? <laughs> what are we going to do with £40,000? <laughs> <laughs> 
you soon, Flake. OK. Well, give my love it's, to your girls. Um, and it's been a real pleasure to have had you playing. Thanks, Tom. Supported Thank by you. the lovely Thanks. Sue. And I'm so, so pleased that you have taken the banker um, for no. £40,000. <laughs> Thank you following things, you might have already deduced that he put in the book £75,000. You'll be back tomorrow, I know. See you then. Well, up next, Brennan Kay, Faye Ripley, Busy, Paul O'Grady.